Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a business email and set it up with Gmail for free. A business email will make you look more professional and organized. And I'll show you how to create up to five business email addresses at no extra cost. By the end of this video, you'll be receiving and sending emails to clients from your business email inside Gmail. So sit back, relax, and let me show you how it's done in just five easy steps. Step one is to set up your domain name. To set up a business email, you need a domain name. A domain is your website's address like WebsitesOSimple.com. When you click the link in the description, you'll get a free domain, up to five business emails, and website hosting for only $2.95 per month. I use and recommend Bluehost because it is not only super affordable, but also because it allows you to manage your website, domain, and business email in one place. To get your free domain, click Get Started and select the basic hosting plan. Next, we'll set up your domain. To create a new domain, just enter your website name and click Next. Once you see that the domain is available, fill out your account information. Untick any extra as you don't want. Enter your payment information. Agree to the terms and hit Submit. Once you see that your purchase was a success, go ahead and create your account. And at the end of the account setup process, you'll land inside your Bluehost dashboard where you can set up your business email. Step two is to create a business email address. On the left menu, click on email and office. Here you'll see that you can get a domain-based email for about $6 per month. But in order to get the free option, click advanced, email accounts. And here you can create up to five email addresses for free. Simply click create to set up your first email address. Enter a username and a password. Be sure to make note of this password as you'll need it to log in in future. Then click create. That's how simple it is to set up your first business email. You will now have four free email accounts remaining. Repeat the same process to create email addresses for your employees or other departments. Step three is to access your business email. To log into your business inbox now and in the future, go to bluehost.com webmail and log in with the details you created in the previous step. Instruct employees to log in here if you create accounts for them. Once you log in, choose any of the webmail applications and then you'll arrive inside your business inbox. Step four is to add your business email to Gmail. You might want to do this because you don't want to log into different accounts and miss important emails. Or because you need more than the limited storage that comes with your domain email. By adding an email account to Gmail, you'll also benefit from spam protection, better mobile notifications, automatic email sorting, and faster search. To add your business email account to Gmail, first, log into Gmail. Then click the gear icon in the top right hand corner. Next, click on Settings, Accounts and Import, and then add a mail account. Now type in the email account you want to add and click Next. To add your business email, you have to manually enter the mail settings. So click Next. Then open a new tab and log into the email account you want to add to Gmail. Now search around for your mail settings. These should appear under Configure Mail Client. And your mail settings should look something like this. Now I've opened back up the Gmail window to add the mail settings. Enter the username and password for the email account you want to add and copy in the mail settings. In the pop server field, add what appears next to incoming mail in your mail settings. Change the port to match what is shown in your mail settings. Leave the first option unticked to save storage in the inbox you are adding. Tick the second option for added security. Tick the third option to add labels so you can clearly see which emails are from which accounts. You can leave the final option unticked unless you want your mail to skip the inbox. 
then click Add Account. Now that your incoming mail settings have been added to Gmail, you will receive your business emails in your Gmail inbox. But you will also want to be able to send business emails from Gmail, so you don't need to log into your business email account at all. So click Next. In most cases, you can leave the account name as is. But for example, if you were adding a support email, you might want to change the account name from your personal name to support at your company.com. This way, clients will be able to see that the email is from support when it lands in their inbox. Then move on to the next step. So once again, we need to have the mail settings open. Make sure where it says SMTP server, it matches the outgoing server address in your mail settings and that the port number is the same. Then enter your username and password and click add account. The final step is to verify ownership of the email address. Go to the inbox of the email you want to add. Open the email from the Gmail team and copy and paste the verification code. That's it. Now you can both send and receive emails from your business email account in Gmail. There's one thing I recommend you do to look more professional. You will see there are two options when replying to a message. Reply from the same address the message was sent to, or always reply from the default address. I would recommend you choose reply from the same address the message was sent to, especially if you have added a business email. This ensures you don't make the mistake of replying to a business email with your personal email. Now, when you reply to an email, it will always reply from the same address the message was sent to. However, you can manually change it if you want by clicking on the down arrow next to the from field. Step five is to add a label color. Now that you are receiving email from different email accounts in Gmail, you'll want to clearly see which emails are coming from which accounts so you can prioritize them and stay organized. If you tick the option to add a label when you added your account, you'll see a label appear in the left sidebar. Sometimes this appears further down, so click on the More button to find it. Then click on the three dots next to the label. Make sure that you select the label to show in the label list and in the message list. And then to make it stand out, add a label color. Now you can clearly see the mail which is coming from the account you added. That's it. Now you know how to create a business email address and set it up with Gmail for free. Click the link in the description below to create your own business email. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.